I'm quite literally taking the Midas MR18 mixer to the extreme. It was not made for such purpose. It was made for much simpler situations. In the previous video, I showed you how I figured out how to do output delays. The MR18 does not have output delays. This feature does not exist. So I figured this out, and in the previous setup, I was using two buses of these six monitor buses for the main speaker. So I have two speakers in the front, two speakers in the back, and they are both in stereo. Front left right, back left right. I was using four of the outputs of the MR18. It only has eight outputs, but recently more musicians are playing and we need more than four monitors. So what can I do? I can sacrifice two of the outputs that I'm using for the delayed speakers. But then what's the purpose? Because I would use the speaker alignment and the speakers would sound terrible because they would be canceling each other instead of summing together. So what's the point? What can I do instead? I can make them mono and then I could maybe delay the left channel differently from the right channel and send the left channel to the front speakers and the right channel to the back speakers. Okay, but the main left-right outputs, you can't really do much with them. Yes, you can assign them to be the monitor output or USB, whatever, but that's not really useful. So what can I do? I'll still use them as main left-right, but I need to figure a way to delay the left different from the right because the main left-right is one stereo bus. It is not two linked left and right buses that you can insert one insert on them and another insert on the other and do different things. It's one. So if you insert something on the main left right, it's on both the left and the right. I'm in the MR edit app and this is the scene we are using so far. And what I want to show you is this. On the main left right, which I called main mono because it's just mono right now, I have a stereo delay inserted. And if you want to know why I'm doing these settings, you can watch the previous video in which I explain how I figured out that these settings don't screw up the sound and just delay it. If not, here's the settings you should do. Mix all the way up to 100, time all the way down, low cut all the way down, high cut all the way up, feed low cut all the way down, feed left all the way down, feed right all the way down, feed high cut all the way up, factor left right is on a quarter and you have it on stereo feed mode. These are the settings. Now the magic happens here in the offset. You see it says offset left right. If you push the knob towards the right, you are delaying the right channel. If you push it towards the left, you are delaying the left channel. And this number is wrong. I want you to be aware of that. Previously, I had 21 milliseconds of delay between the speakers. And if I put 21 milliseconds right here, it will be off. Like I would still need a lot more. So I ended up with 35. And that has to do with the factor. And I measured this in Pro Tools with my M32C, connected it directly to my computer and sent signal and measured what this is doing. And it showed me that you have to put double the amount here, plus two. But when I measured it in real life, it was different. So just take any microphone. It doesn't have to be a measurement microphone because you're measuring in impulse. You're measuring time, not a frequency response. Take any microphone, measure the front speed, Speaker, measure the back speaker and make sure they are aligned. Previously, when I had both of them in stereo front and back and I was doing the other setup, I had it exactly aligned down to the sample. But now with this setup, I have it four samples off at 48 kilohertz. So that's four 48 thousands of a second. But it's fine. It's negligible. You could just say that it is perfectly aligned. Now I have my main mono. The left channel of it is the front speakers that is not delayed. The right channel of it is the back speakers that is delayed by that certain amount of time to make it aligned with the front. And now all the speakers are summing together instead of canceling each other. And I can use the buses five and six for monitors instead of being in other left right. I don't know if anybody else will be put in that situation where you need to do this, but I thought I would just share it anyway. And the biggest reason for this is money. If you have money lying around, you can buy the bigger, better, fancier gear. But if not, you just have to figure out a way to do what you need to do with what exists. If you like this video, give it a like and watch the video on the screen right now. And I'll see you there.